I will start with everybody should be afraid or very careful of these people that they call besties. You can have a friend that you really trust and I promise you, you don't know that person. Mm -hmm. Hello viewers, welcome to another day for enlightenment where we bring to you mystical encounters and health tips. Today we are looking at the case of two best friends. The image you are seeing is the footage of a young lady who was hospitalized due to an accident she had. So the story behind this young lady, I am going to play you the experience and the confession of this lady who got betrayed by her best friend in a way that is so, so, so unheard of. So by her explanation, she gave us detail of what happened. This lady got into a brutal accident where almost everybody in the vehicle lost their life. So she was lucky to survive, but was rushed to the hospital where she was kept there for days under coma. And the only person who was aware of her situation was the best friend. You'll be shocked by her confession. Without much to say, I would like to take you straight to listen as this lady narrates exactly what happened between her, her children, and the husband coupled with the best friend. Listen to what she has to say. I will start with everybody should be afraid or very careful of these people that they call besties. You know, um, you can have a friend that you really trust and I promise you, you don't know that person. Mm -hmm. Somehow, the man that I was supposed to get married to a month after got married to my best friend uh -huh. that was supposed to be my chief bridesmaid. And in a space of three to four months, even after he knows we just lost our kids, I just lost my almost, I just lost my everything. This, my friend, the same girl that was supposed to, in fact, you know when someone is your best friend, you know, mm -hmm. when something happens to you, she should be responsible to give a very good answer exactly. of what's going on with you. Instead, this person actually made a keeping for me. Oh. Mm -hmm. She made a way keeping for me and two places, but I got where I was working and where I used to work at Oka. It was someone else that called me on video call on Facebook, like after I got myself out of coma, not me, after God got me out of coma and he got to let me know that he attended my wake, my wake up a few months, um, weeks ago. So uh, it, imagine, Im imagine how shocked you would be that you are watching a video from someone else's phone that is calling you live, that the person is showing painful exits. It, it was just something else that people were, people were celebrating or crying over my death and I was alive somewhere and it's a bestie. Oh my I did that to you. So, um, I can't stress it enough. Everybody should be careful. Mm. So, everybody should since care. after this accident, I believe you are all shocked by her confession. This particular incident is to bring awareness to most of those girls out there who are bragging around with their friends that this is my best friend. Although there are some genuine relationship or genuine bestie, but this is to draw our attention to be very, very much watchful and careful who we walk around with and call our best friend or bestie because not everybody that smiles at you is actually smiling from the bottom of her heart or smiling genuinely can you imagine a best friend of yours who stand in the best position to tell people what actually happened to you she ran and instead organizes a wet keeping to announce your death simply because she knew that in the condition that you are you will definitely end up dying but so unfortunately for this best friend, this lady came out of the coma. But seeing the critical condition that she was in, and since she was on oxygen and in coma at the same time, she knew that this lady cannot make it. So she quickly and hurriedly ran, made her wet keeping in two different places, got married to her husband. You can imagine the kind of world we are living in. Please, not everybody is who you think they claim to be. 
it is in the face of a tragic encounter or tragic incident that you really get to understand or know those who actually care about you and have you very very deep or in high esteem in their heart i brought you this video so that everybody can draw a lesson from it it is a good thing to love it is a good thing to have friends but please don't be so quick to trust don't be so quick to trust quick trust is very dangerous quick trust is very very dangerous love be open-minded but be watchful consider a friend as an enemy who hasn't attacked yet take it again just consider a friend as an enemy who hasn't attacked yet because these days it's very difficult to find a true and genuine friend there is a lot of envy a lot of jealousy a lot of hatred for no good reason just the fact that you are doing well, being happy, smiling, is a problem to someone. Just the fact that you are progressing, you are, you are glowing, you know, you are taking positive steps in life, is a problem. So please, be watchful with the kind of friends you keep. Be watchful with the kind of people you call bestie. Be watchful to whom you revealed your all and your all, okay? Please, don't forget to subscribe if you are just new to this channel so that you can get daily updates of our posts for enlightenment. Never forget to stay safe, stay healthy, and stay out of trouble.